Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again and I've already prepared ourselves a mission to head out on. We're going to go into a long mission in the Weald. I picked out a party. We're actually going for a Hellion Trinket that adds damage to Iron Swarm, which I really like the look of. Uh, so we're going to be bringing uh, Hestia. As we haven't been out with Hestia in a while, I tried to bring some people that we just haven't brought out in a little while here. So we're bringing Hestia with the double damage and accuracy. We're bringing Dismas uh, with damage and of course his insane scouting bonus uh, which is gonna be really really nice although artistic oh god scares me I hear artistic and um, we've got Delmar who hasn't been out in a little while as well mainly for the uh, sanitize but also for the stun um, he's bringing the um, extra resists and extra chances for the stun chance and the bonus of resists we've also got him with the salamander so we can bring less torches um, and then we've got um goes on here which is going to be our healer. I'm a little worried because she's only level 2. This is a level 3 mission. And our healing is more restoration based than direct based. Which I think restoration isn't affected by healing skill bonuses. I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, but I don't think it is. But either way, this is the group that I've decided to pull together here. I think it should be pretty darn good. Um, and I've also decided to bring some of the restorative potions. Just in case we have um, a little bit of a healing issue. As her base HP is kind of low. Um, in terms of... What we've got... Oh, actually. Ooh. Do you know? I've set up all of this. I've decided to go for all of this. And I've just realised something. I've not actually checked my skill upgrades on any of these characters. And I guarantee, yeah, at least one of them needs upgrading. So, we got to go... These two. Oh my god, they were way behind. And last two. Yeah, last two. They were well behind. Delmar, uh, Dismas, sorry, what is going on? Oh my god, he was, he was well behind. Okay, we've got quite a lot of upgrading to do, actually, which is kind of a shame, because uh, our money's going to struggle here a little bit. In fact, okay, no, you're fine. Um, I, think she's, I think she has a discount. Yeah, she does. I was wondering why that was so cheap. Okay, so we're going to be putting some cash into this. My goodness, we're going to be putting some cash into this, but... It's worth it. Um, and then we go boom, boom. And boom, boom. Your skills are all good. And best four. So that cost us a pretty penny. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't expect it to cost us that much. But people need to get upgraded anyways. It sort of is what it is. Um, by the way, someone did suggest a really, really good idea. But unfortunately, I don't actually know how to do it. Um, basically they suggested, do you know the, the way that, um, the, uh, antiquarian can find special little trinkets and things that are worth more money to sell? This, people suggested adding that ability to some other classes, um, such as classes that don't have a lot of writing, so we have more reason to take them out. I think Dismas was a suggestion, I think Helen was a suggestion, there's a few others as well, and I really love that idea because it allows us to get more money, but I don't actually know how to do that, so if anyone knows how to do that, do let me know, because uh, it'd be really good to be able to take more people out to earn a bit more money, because... Uh, at the minute, we are kind of struggling. Um, not like a crazy amount. We're, we're, we're getting enough each mission, but it's still a little bit worrisome. But here we can see the trinket we're getting. I really like the idea of this trinket. It's all bonuses, which I love. Um, and we'll do what we did last time. We'll go for 24 food because we've got one person that eats a little bit more. And we go four of those. In fact, are we even going to have enough money to... Uh, to get everything we need here. Okay, we do. Just about. Oh my god. That is a lot of cash all to spend on one mission. But there you go. Everyone needs upgrading regardless. So we, we have our party. We're raring to go. Um, and we have quite a high number of diary entries. And some of them that are quite long today. So I'm going to get into those to start with. So first of all by Blank Gaming and Gargoyle Guy. This is a, a collaboration. This is split up into four different pieces. And this time I'm going to read them separately. So thank you for separating these. So let's get right into this. Uh, this is um, like I said between Blank Gaming and Gargoyle Guy. Gargoyle Guy sorry. Um, Navar would walk into the library and see Rose and Amy seemingly gossiping. When Rose saw him enter, she told Amy something, and Amy scooted off into a back room. Got my invitation, I see. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Of course, Navar stated with a slight nod of the head as they came in and sat down. I made sure to bring most of my personal effects that I took on our outing as well. I know you just want to chat. 
but I saw how you looked at my steed. Most don't have that kind of face without having at least a few questions to ask. I try not to be nosy, Rose said, but quickly being interrupted by Amy jokingly shouting, she's a lie, she's lying. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, Amy will actually be asking most of the questions about the skull. I'm honestly more curious about you. What made you come to this damned place? I'm here for work, though it seems most other heroes here have um, this place under check. Navarre was quiet for a moment. I suppose there is no harm in speaking of myself to the two of you. I highly doubt that either of you uh, knowing a bit more about me will spread around to those that would take um, said info poorly. Navarre shifted in their seat and handed the skull over to Amy. I am personally here because the crystals in my armor uh, rang and sang to me. Any time I call, I call upon their power, I am overwhelmed with the scent of freshly tilled soil. Very interesting. So like I said, we have more parts of that to get into as we go forward. But we do have some other diary entries to get into in the meantime. Um, so we actually have um, <laughs> the, another one by Blank Gaming here. And this is a match is struck. A blazing star is born. A diary of Anton and a mysterious character. And with that, every single one of the candles has been lit. A long day's work is bound to produce fruit. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, sure thing. I must admit I'm thankful you helped me with this. Almost anyone would just report me to the authorities. Don't flatter yourself, Anton. I do as the light wills. Oh, you're one of those religious people. You say that. But didn't you have at least a bit of fun doing this? Like at all? Hmm. Seeing the little ants run rampant uh, as their candles got set ablaze was rather entertaining, I guess. Oh, I knew it. You're uh, also a silly little arson enjoyer. Now let us head back before we're spotted. The duo begin walking back to the city, frantic screams behind them as the nearby town is set ablaze, but there's no one uh, to hear them. Only the smoke rising um, and the ash remains. Very, very nice. I love that. Okay, let's get into the mission. We've got our um, firewood and we've got our nighttime ambush ready. This should be a pretty good mission. I'm really hoping that we can do some good stuff here. I think we have the heals in check. I am, like I said, just a bit worried about our current money situation, but we'll just have to see how that goes. And as I said, people can leave um, comments or just let me know in Discord how I'd go about editing characters to uh, add the antiquarian effects to other characters, because I think that is probably the best way we can solve our money issue without taking out um, Viara on, like, every mission. Which, I'll be honest, I don't not want to do, but I also don't want her to get ridiculously overleveled, because it's it just seems really funny that, like, the most sort of beefed up and experienced person is the most, like, frail little woman. <laughs> it's just quite funny. But yeah, we'll jump right into this and see uh, exactly what we can get done. But we have a lot of damage going into this. I mean, Hestia has crazy damage here. Um, and then, of course, we have quite a lot on Dismas as well. Uh, Delmar honestly doesn't have a ton of damage, but he can do some good stuff with his stun. It does, it does good base damage on top. Um, this is quirk based. I'd like to get rid of artistic if that's what that's going to do. Oh, what has a powerful effect? Okay, that actually changed something else. That's actually not too bad. Ooh, whoa! He's a new enemy, I think. I don't know if this is a, a modded enemy or not. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't recognise it. Activate our post and get a kill off the bat. But he's got repurse on him, which is kind of scary. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is um, I'm going to chain and collar this guy. Because that won't activate repurse, and that lowers his damage by 50%, which I absolutely love. 55 now. Oh, this is a cool enemy. I like this. I'm going to take out the dog first, though. I really like this as an enemy. So, um, do that. And then let's start us cooking. Lovely. I really like that. And then, yeah, let's finally use this now. It gives us a bit of stress heal torch, I really like. And we'll do a point blank shot. Ooh, huge damage, but this guy has a lot and a lot of HP. Uh, we'll go for it if it bleeds. Good stuff. We're getting good crits on you so far. Um, which is the one that lets us steal restoration? Okay, there you go. So we'll steal some restoration from you. Oh, I guess we won't. Let's we'll do some restoration from you. And then we get some healing ourselves. Quick. 
This is a really cool enemy. I wonder if this guy counts as like a mini boss. He seems mini boss esque. Now, this stun doesn't have a super high chance of hitting here, but I'm going to give it a go anyways. Unfortunate resist, but it does good damage regardless. I don't mind it. Ho ho, baby. Some lovely crits came in there. I liked that. We got ourselves some of this. Nice. Okay. Really intriguing enemy there. I really like that. Really, really intriguing enemy. But you can see why, um, with us not having a self-heal that works sort of off the bat for um, Gozun here, that, why I have these uh, extra heals just in case. Good stress heal across the board. That should keep our stress at least in check a little bit. It's not going to do a crazy amount for us, but it'll help. We'll go for that. Now, I do realise I can use Iron Swan uh, if I'm at the front, so it's not always going to work that I can use that, but that's fine. Um, do that. Do that. Get to cooking. I do realise, by the way, that this Blight, when I end it, and Blight isn't particularly useful against a lot of the enemies here, but it's fine. Oh, really? A dodge? You've got bonus accuracy as well. That's kind of crazy that we dodged there. It is what it is, I guess. Stress coming in horror, in fact. Now we can Iron Swan, potentially. There you go. But do you have severe mood swings? Oh, there you go. It's gloomy is what it is. She's got some really bad quirks, to be honest. Hey, at least we can do some good damage there. Yeah, some bad quirks in there. The Eldritch pull coming in. Luckily, we've got a lot of move resist on our guys here. So they're not moving around a lot. Go for that, because that's a low HP and a high chance to stun. We get our light out of that as well. Repose, not doing a hell of a lot, but it's good to have regardless. Um, throw that on you. Steal the restoration there. Try and take you out. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Try and just debuff your damage. These guys, of course, have a lot of prop. Heal everyone up and... Yeah, as you can see, Blight, these guys ain't going to take any Blight. But that's fine. We got the heal in there regardless. A hey, and the kill there as well. Awesome. Destroy them all. And this will stun. Yes, beautiful. This group is good. This group's got some strength to them. Dude, gloomy and uh, superstitious are absolutely... In fact, fading is really bad too. In fact, to be fair, all of her negative quirks are absolutely awful. At least she has brave... But goddamn, yeah, she's got some really, really bad negative quirks. Good. You're not gonna get into the hitting, and we can finish you off there with, with a crit as well. Beautiful. Extra stress heals coming in. Ooh, I do gotta say, I like, I like a bit of extra money. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that because I'm gonna need the space. We're just going to try and do all the room battles we can here. Thank you. Hopefully scouting should be reasonably high chance here. We have a 65% chance of scouting. So I was just about to say, hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Ooh, we got another new enemy here. These level 3 missions introduce a lot of new enemies. Certainly adds a lot of risk. This guy's got a stealth. Oh, he's got a stealth for one round. So that's not so bad. That's not really what I wanted to happen there, but I'll take it. He pushed himself forward when really I could have had him not do that. Got our resists going. Just take out this thing. Get it gone. Swipe coming in. Luckily our health is looking pretty decent here. That's not what I meant to do at all there. My bad. 
I meant to start. It's fine. It, like, it was good to get a bit of healing going there, but that's yeah, not really what I meant to do. Dude, can you stop moving yourself forward? What What is that? Eager to fight? Yeah. Because I, I wanted to activate my repurse and it's not goddamn letting me. <laughs> it's only like a 10% chance to do that as well. Oh, goddamn. Hard hit. You've got very low stun resist, so nice stun on you. Yeah, it's right, I my repurse and it's not goddamn letting me. Oh, really? You've called another one in and you stunned me? Ugh. Oh, that was bad. I'm taking that one out straight away. Harmless swipe, it really was harmless. Yeah, good. Everyone gets a little bit of restoration going. Oh, beautiful. That can hit so hard sometimes, it's awesome. I really need to take you out though. I don't know what you have in store for me, but I want you gone. And that's how you do it. Crits are coming out fast and loose here. We're, we're managing stress just based on our crits, to be honest. A swipe comes in again. Nice, nice, nice. Stun coming out. Basically, Delmar's really here for sanitized and stunning. Like, he just does those two back and forth, and it, it works out for us. I like the collar and chain just in case there's a really sort of brutish enemy though. It's like, I don't use it often, but there's certain enemies where it's so good. Ooh, okay, we've got um, some good stuff here. Um, I'd like the emerald, so I'm going to just take those. And then what's this? That's kind of interesting. Okay, so basically it's a very specific wield-based trinket that's going to reduce damage taken on certain things. I definitely want to take it because it's very rare, but I really don't know what I take it for right right now. Maybe for my torches? Mm. This is tricky. It's tricky. I really want it, but yeah, I don't, don't know what to take it for. I know it would be it would be a waste to get rid of my torches because I just bought them. Let's get rid of the citrine. Citrine, it, we'll end up finding more of it, so I'm going to regret it, but... Ooh, it's so much stuff. 18 crests? Oh, this game has been rude to me right now. I've got to take the crests over the uh, jade. I really need to take money, which is the problem here. Hey, there's our scouting. Good, good. And then 90, 90. I mean, Delmar, you have to go for this. Like, you really should be taking out all the traps, I feel like. You know these places well. You've exterminated around here. You ain't afraid of no ghosts. Get from this. 12 extra food. Certainly don't mind it. More little cicadas, or whatever you want to call these guys. But we've got a surprise on them, which should mean we can get some easy kills here. I think two of them will die, like, instantly, at least. I'm even going to go for this and just try and get an insta-kill there. Also, I wanted the, the, the torchlight. Stop stressing everyone out, woman. Yeah. Easy. Easy. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Beautiful stuff. What the hell? Excuse this expedition What the fuck just happened? Okay, I was going to say, what the hell just happened? Very confusing. Um, I actually don't want either of these. It's, we're getting a lot of trinkets, and we have absolutely no space. Yeah, overfeeding's a little annoying. Um, basically, it's just slightly lowered speed for a little tiny bit of increased HP. I really wish it was slightly more of a bonus than just 5%. Like, minus one speed is a pretty big, hefty downside. This bad boy. Stuff. And we finally got one of these crones that can be a big pain in the ass. Slightly hard battle here. Does that thing have... What the... I didn't do a lot of damage to that at all. It doesn't have prot either. Weird. 
try and take it out first. Obviously the Chrome, we just got to leave. We've got no way of de-stealthing right now. And we'll get that going. Aha, you missed, fool. Haha, -ha, you targeted the person with the repost, you fool. How beautiful it is to see. Point blank shot. Oh, ho, ho, Dismas. My goodness. You legend. And stun on you. The light. The promise of safety. Wow. Oh, I was gonna say wow, that was easy, and then we get a miss. God damn it. Of course you resist. But the stun should mean that we get the kill on you regardless here. Lovely. Success. So clearly. Right. Very, very nice. Um, or is it over here. Do this last battle here. Light. Pretty easy battle. Prop boys, but otherwise fine. Get that repose going. Get sanitize going first here. But he probably deals with our stress so easily. Even you've got the extra stress permanently. But what buff did that? Oh, even more prop, really? Even more prop, did you have to? I'm gonna bleed you and hope that that helps out. With a crit, that's pretty good. Luckily, he went for him. Hey, another crit. We are critting like crazy right now. Ah, oh, really? Dude. Buffing these guys up with extra prot is not good. We're going to have to keep using bleed, I think. I didn't realize that this gave torch as well. We've got so much additional torch coming in. Yeah, we have to go for bleed whenever we can, really, I think. Stun on you. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength There's that. to follow it. 70% prot is gross to see. There's no way of us cutting through that prot either. It's going to be a kind of a long fight against this guy. We've got Blight on you as well. Stress coming in. I mean, these little guys need to go too. Don't be stunning my healer. Come on now. At least you're dead. More bleed. Stun for you as well, why not? I need to take these guys out in the back, but it's just hard to get to them. Um, thank you. Alright, good, good. One of you's dead at least, but another one could get summoned in. Which is the problem here. Mark is kind of fine, I think. Slowly. Although you do have rend the mark, which could cause this issues. Is life is taken. Check out this guy. This guy's gonna die to bleed now, so I have to worry about him. There you go. Little bit tetchy there. Little bit tetchy, but we got there in the end. Not too bad. Okay, well, we need another money Jesus stack now. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. We should really get the jades as well. Busts, I'm going to say no to you for now. I just need money so bad. Finding the stuff is only the first Deeds. task. Oh. Dude, we haven't on. got nearly enough space for all this shit. And I, I, I want all of this. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. I sh what I really should be doing is I should just ignore everything and then come back in like in like no light. But it's it's such a risk that I feel like, and also it just makes like long missions even longer. I don't want them to like take forever. We'll leave it for now. Right, we'll go do this battle, then we'll camp after that. I've got a few diary entries to get into after that. Keep it moving. You have another shovel usage coming up as well. 
But yeah, I, I probably should always just bring like no, no or less torches when I'm using the salamander trinket, which honestly from now on I'm probably just going to use all the time. It's really, really good. It's like, I don't, I don't feel like it's overpowered. It really just saves you money in an inventory slot, which is pretty strong, I guess. But like, you still have to be reliably hitting enemies with that character. Like, it does have a bit of a sort of, I won't say downside, but a bit of a something to hold it back, so to say. Anyways. It is nice to have some torches as well, just here and there. This is a positive quirk it's going to give us. You're pretty low on positive quirks. Let's. Oh, we can't even do that. doesn't matter. Dude, how many food checks? Holy shit. Just a bunch of bugs again. Aha, dodge. I'm going to give everyone pro already. Why? Why are you like this? Executed with impunity. Aha, spit dodges once again. Ah, oh, bugger you. At least we still activate our first. Dude, stop giving people prop, please. Can't be dealing with it. Ooh, what the hell was that? I don't know, but I liked it. Oh, severe mood swings. Mood swings can actually be positive. Get out of our cooking again. She's actually done a really good job. Ah, oh, you summoned another one? God damn it. These things are so fucking annoying. Like, they're really weak, but they could, they have a really powerful buff. And they just keep fucking coming. God damn. They just keep coming. Light bite. That's not going to do anything to me. Ah, exactly 10. Right, don't you summon any more, you bitch. Lovely. I've got to leave the bus. I need money. But a victory nonetheless. Leaving so much behind. Right, okay, let's camp. We will do... Honestly, I'm going to do three food. Um, and then, yeah, let's quickly get into a diary entry and we'll get to other stuff. So first of all, we have a one by Dr. Sandwich Junkie for Bacilla. It feels good to finally get away from the hamlet again and do what I came here to do. It's no wonder my my relative dumped all the di uh, daily tedium on me. What a nightmare. And so much pressure too. I'm probably the youngest person here and I'm expected to keep all these maniacs from killing each other. This is why people turn to the smoke or drink. But in actual news, we've acquired a few new faces since my last entry. More holy men, mostly. But I don't think they like me very much. Most interestingly is a small being in a white helmet. I think it's a helmet anyways. The priest has dubbed him Little One. And the name has sort of just stuck. He gives me a bad feeling, though. There's something very unnatural about him, even compared to the rest of this place. I think I saw some kind of, um, Capres under his cloak. Like an insect would have. I don't know of any insectoid race or gods off the top of my head, and I couldn't find anything in the library. As much as it pains me, I need to ask for help on this one because I'm stumped. <laughs> That's really interesting. I like that. And then onto part two of um, the diary between Blank Gaming and Gargoyle Guy. Navarre starts to trail off, almost in a whisper, they utter. That's why I'm here. But things have changed since I've been here. A new scent I didn't expect is in the air mixed with blood and rot. So if I'm getting this right, the crystals told you to come here. Also, yes, cleansing this place sometimes feels like a fool's errand, but I know one day I'll be able to look at Rose and know I worked um, for it to be able to survive one day out there. Cleansing? I don't know if I care all about that, nor do I know if my goals here will lead me to that, Navar mutters. There's a, um, there's a sickingly sweet scent of uh, Ada Toilet coming from the northwest. It smells of my beloved, the person I'm really here to look for. The more time I spend here, the more I fear they are taken by the rotted corruption. Navar looks away for a moment. Any time I smash one of those blasted mosquitoes, I get a burst of her scent. I truly fear the worst. Navar shoots back uh, from slouching in the chair, as if remembering their own composure. Pardon the sent uh, sentimental drivel, such things should not be uttered into the air, at least they manifest as true. 
You say northwest. Isn't that where that huge manor is? If that's where you think the smell is coming from, you could ask Sophie. It's not too hard to notice. She goes there every night. Who knows? Maybe you could help one another to find out who you're looking for. Further west. Past the metal gate, I think. I saw it in the distance one time uh, when following the scent. Though if there is uh, is someone who would know more about the manor, I'm sure they would uh, know more of the surrounding areas as well. Really interesting. Okay, let's see what we're going to do camping up wise. We definitely want to do that. Um, I'll go for the extra crit as well. Um, yeah, that's probably pretty good too. And then we've only got one left, so we can't do anything now. But that was a good rest. Good stuff. Right, right, right. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Oh, of course you're going to touch this, aren't you? Okay. That somehow had a positive effect. Hard noggin, no. Blah. Holy hell, Dismas. Dismas is an absolute dumpster fire in terms of his quirks. Like, an absolute dumpster fire. Honestly, so is Hestia. They have such, like, a troubled past. <laughs> they have so many things going on. It's so annoying. I really need to sort them out, but it's so expensive to get rid of locked-in quirks, and they have some annoying locked-in quirks, especially Hestia. Hestia's locked-in ones are really brutal. We really need to get rid of them via Curios, but you don't always come across what you want to come across. Not all, you don't always get what you hope for. Got our first Exoplasms. It's fine. Hopefully we can take them out relatively swiftly. Gonna go for this. Honestly, just go for the kill. Guarantee the kill. Ah, cooking up again. Scamper. You said to the back. You're you're still for another wait, another round yet? Okay. Dude, call to the wild again. Stop with that bullshit, please. Ah, damn it. I was hoping he wouldn't get a chance to do that, but it is what it is. Oh, damn. Repurse on the stealth enemy is very nice. I like to see that. And he's dead straight away. I, I'm guessing that guy has the ability to do some really nasty stuff, but we're being lucky enough to kill them pretty early on and, and do away with any potential issues there. Right, get rid of this bastard. And you're gone as well. Awesome. Dodge on that. Hey, nice crit heal. Some restoration for ourselves there as well. Unfortunately, can't do much here apart from get rid of a body. And a nice crit there as well. That bonus crit chance is going to be lovely. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Oh, stop touching things. You little gimp. Chop your hands off soon. Don't test me, because I will. Oh, balls. We don't have a D-stealth either. This is going to be very, very, very bad. <laughs> we don't have D-stealth, which makes this boss a lot, lot harder. And I mean, like, a lot, 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 lot harder. Like, an insane amount harder. Not have, and also, our healing is extremely limited here, so this is going to be bad. I think someone might die. <laughs> I genuinely think we might have a death here. This is such a terrible boss for us. Um, let's do this because bleed will still apply and it'll get rid of a block. Like, look how much he like we've got so little health, and this is about to hit us. Bollocks. Um. Oh my god, this is going to be so bad. This is going to be so bad. We don't have the healing to sustain this, I don't think. Yeah, sorry. You're probably going to die. Good dodge, but it's not going to be enough. This is so bad. Why did we have to come across this guy? Fuck me. This is so bad. Um, 
Collar and chain only affects the first two, which is rather annoying. Um, next bit, my repurse, because I'm about to get hit. Luckily, he doesn't have a ton of HP, but... Honestly, the healing situation is bad. Luckily, restoration is a great way to stay off death's door. That's that. Good, good. Oh, that's a stun as well. Okay, this, that, that helps uh, an enormous amount. You're going to have to miss, really. I think the bear dies if he dies, so it's very much just trying to take this guy out. Oh, the crits are so necessary here. The crits are so necessary. Honestly, I'm going to trap him again because that worked really well. Oh my god, he's got one HP left. The bleed is going to kill him. Okay, quickly while we're in combat, give me one of those. Let me steal that restoration from you. That was very, very scary. Ooh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, we got overfeeding again. That is an insanely good trinket. Holy hell. Um, well, that was very, very scary. Uh, we're going to give you another one of those. Honestly, I'm going to give you another one of those. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trusting myself. Right. Keep it moving on. Oh, my God. That, that really scared me, that did. Holy fuck. Because that, that boss has a stealth mechanic that is devastating if he pulls it off. Luckily, he never did it. But that there's a stealth mechanic that's in there that's bad. My go I actually can't believe we, we managed to pull out of that. One thing that I didn't even think about, though, is... Gorzon uh, is actually insanely good for keeping people alive because she's constantly providing restoration because you only need one heal to get them off death's door. You only need to heal them for one. That was, that was tense. We got a really good trinket out of it though, so I don't mind too much. No one actually died, which is somewhat surprising. Dude, can you, like, fucking leave Hestia alone, please? I'm wailing on her. God damn. That was a good hit. That was a very good hit. on her there. That would be quite enough to kill. Ah, oh, Dismas, come on now. You sod. Of course you're going to go for Hestia, why wouldn't you? At least she's dodging. You're dead, good, good. Thank you, Delmar. Oh, you shit. Just hit things, please. She got like so many extra turns because you can't be asked hitting things. You have like a bonus 15 accuracy or whatever it is. How much accuracy do you have bonus? Seven. You should be hitting things more often. Come on, lady. Are you playing it? More money. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I'll take the money instead of that now. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh, we got a secret room. We still got keys, right? We do sell keys, good. Okay, so secret room will definitely go to last. Um let's do this. A lot of battles. A lot of battles. We'll camp after this one up, up here, I think. Unless this one goes bad. Although, with two stealth, 
Not great. But we do get... Oh, I was going to say two insta-kills. Sadly, not two insta-kills. Actually, no. Two insta-kills. I'm taking the insta-kills. Yeah, get those enemies out of here. No, don't want anything to do with them. It gets cooking. I'm going to have to start bringing D-Stealth on purpose because not having it's bad. I mean, the repose helps a ton, I will say. Especially when it misses. Thank you for missing. Put that D-Stress across the board. Nice. Nice heal. Beautiful, taken care of. Even more money, more crests. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying. I'll take more crests over a jade. It's like jade is good, but unless we find a lot of them, it's not amazing. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Right, back we go. Food is food is looking rough. Food is looking really, really, really rough. We could easily get a hunger check coming up. Why would you touch that, you goddamn idiot? You goddamn idiot. You've blighted yourself, you fool. Oh my god, we got the branch smackdown coming in. Very much just a player to kill this guy as humanly fast as possible. You have a really high stun chance to go for resists. Ah, oh, we don't need a crit there. If you can just do poison spores, I'll be happy. You ain't gonna goddamn poison this guy. Delmar ain't getting poisoned any way, anyhow. Oh god, our, our health here is a bit low. I didn't realise that. The person you lovely, although you just instantly heal it back up for it. Oh my god. Things have taken a turn here, people. Things have taken a turn. Oh, that that helps. That helps me put puts my mind slightly at ease. Uh, let's collar and chain you just in case you do a big hit. Ah, you missed anyways. Even if you'd have hit, it wouldn't have done much, though. Are you going to refuse healing? Why? You absolute... Mm. You need it so badly, though, you goddamn moron. Shit needs to go. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, stop. Delmar. If you refuse healing again, I am going to smack you. Oh, we actually stunned him. Nice. A momentary Good. The bigger the god damn, this little shit's been an absolute pain in the ass. Good. I'm gonna go back and camp. Oh my god, okay. Right, let's go for some more diaries, shall we? Okay, so we have The Beast and the Master by Rokorin. This is part one. The finely dressed man strolls into town. Olive skin, dark, curly hair, sharp features. Flanked by two guards. Brass breastplate and spears. The noble survey, the hamlet. Eyeing it like a predator hunting prey. 
He ignores the township, inquire, um, inquiring his presence and strolls to the town square. Here, boy, come one home. And, let, uh, and he lets out a piercing whistle. A shudder shouts through chaos. He knows that noise. Fighting the initial urge to move, years of training to heal at that sound, flickering images of blitz, uh, pain blitz before him. His knuckles crack in anger with Titan's fists. Not his pain, but the pain um, Banterus, ba Banterius will inflict to get what he wants. He bolts up and rushes towards town, leaving the flowers, hearing the second whistle with more instance. The noble strolls around the square, leaning, uh, clapping his hands low to the ground. Come one, you know where you belong. As he looks towards the road, seeing his prize fight out of breath, but standing before him. Ah, oh, such a good boy. Even after all this time, here's a nice treat for you. As he haphazardly tosses a tart before him. Go on, it's your favourite. A cruel smile fades to a grimace as the beast crushes it under his foot, standing face to face. One word. Leave. God damn, I love that. Holy hell. So it seems that we're going to have some interesting stuff going on with Chaos here, which I was not expecting, but god damn, I love it. Anyways, as for the next one in terms of the um, Blank Gaming and Gaia or Gaia one for Navar, Amy soon returns, bringing warm rosary tea. The only gated off area I can think of is the courtyard. It is also the area besides the manor I haven't seen Rose uh, out to scout. It's quite dangerous and really gross. I recommend bringing some boots specifically for traveling wet terrain. I'd also advise extreme caution. Not only does the sun not reach that place, the enemies are also pretty nasty. They can give um, give you really hard, cured, uh, really hard to cure disease. I don't even know what to expect from it. I don't even know where to begin with curing it. Navar takes the teacup. So this place is beyond that gate. I will have to ask our expedition planner to send me there with a group. Um, they say, starting to trail off in thought again. I think that's enough, um, enough on why I'm here. You said you had more questions for me. Yeah, mostly about where you got more armor um, and to go into a bit more detail on how it sings to you. Amy says, trying to take a sip of her own tea before realizing it's still too hot for her. Navarre looks down at their cup. How I got the armor is personal, but the reason um, it and the soul skull sing to me due is due to the crystals. There is a crystal embedded in the forehead of my helm. Navarre motions to his forehead. The skull is embedded with a ring in the nose that I received from my beloved, the woman I'm looking for. These crystals seem to sing to me in a otherworldly language. I can scarcely understand it. But the closer I get to the farmstead, the easier it is to understand. Of what I can um, pass from the lyrics, it sings everything I ever wanted. Most forms of language do seem to be distorted in the farmstead. Um, I, I have a full translation guide and all, but most of the books I've gotten were stolen. Who knows, maybe if you went into the farmstead, you could help write anew, Amy asks. Very interesting. Right. We're going to have to just go for the three food, because otherwise... In fact, we already don't have enough for another food check, so that's going to be rough. Um, that's going to be pretty rough. Alright, rest up, people. We're definitely going to end up getting a food check here that we can't stomach, which is going to be a problem. But, hey her. It just is what it is. Can't do anything with that. Another one of these fights, okay. We can manage this. We can manage the stress. I'm just a bit worried about Delmar's current HP, I'll be honest. Fear consumes the mind. Scamper back, that's okay, we can deal with that. Why are they getting to go all their turns first? Come on, let's hit something. Oh, come on. All of you got to go before any of us? Rude. But with that. Gets cooking. I am still a little peeved that when you're playing as Gorzon, you don't, uh, you, you still get food checks the same way. I really think the food check should be changed somehow when you're playing with it because everyone's eating every battle. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. 
nice one. Oh my god. Good repursts across the board here. Beautiful stuff. Got a map, nice. We do have a key for this. Even more money. Um... At this stage, let's get rid of our torches. Fuck me! Come on! <laughs> really? Oh my god. This is bad. It's bad, bad, bad. I, I want to make, make sure I can iron swan here, so I'm going to leave you there. Turping for a crit there, but it is what it is. Been a rough one today, holy shit. Got two Dismas skulls as well, which I, I goddamn hate. Oh, that didn't. I, I, I thought that would go through the, the thingy, it doesn't matter, whatever. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be really rough again. Oh no. Come on, please, Hestia, I need you to crit. I'm just going for all damage on him, to be honest. Damn it. The true test. Garzon's gonna die. Oh, but that was close. That was close. Um... <sighs> Should have bandaged her. I don't know why I didn't. My bad. Oh, you've really got to dodge that, haven't you? I don't know why I didn't bandage her. That was really stupid. If she dies to bleed now, I'm going to be so depressed. Oh my god. God damn, a lot of damage on that repurst. And a stun. Oh, I dodged. That's lucky. There's the crits we're looking for, baby. There they are. Okay, bandage. Steel. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Good dodge. Dodges are really coming in clutch right now. Oh, there you go. The ghoulish Fucking hell, today. This is the most stressful mission we've been out on thus far. You got one of these trapezoid thingy my bobs. We'll take it for the bandages, I think. Another one of the giants, which is scary as well. We'll make sure it's chain and collar him when we can. Good damage off the bat. Again, worried about Gozen's health. 9 HP does not bird well. Don't attack her. She's not in the fucking mood. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Unchained. It's a bonus of damage. Probably should have chained him, to be honest. Would have been more worthwhile, I think. I'm hoping I can just kill this guy real quick, though. Ah, oh, god, we're getting some really clutch dodges at the moment. Nice. Okay. Right, we are good to go, right. 
So there is a battle here. Um, okay, we go we go all the way around, which is higher chance for a food check, which I think we're definitely gonna get. I'll be honest, but we just gotta go for it. Glittering gold trinkets and baubles. Paid for in More of these fellas. This has been like so fucking stressful, but goddamn, it's like one of the most enjoyable darkest dungeon missions I've played in a long while. It's just like that on edge stress that just never goes away. Like we've been wrecking enemies, like absolutely decimating them for the most part in terms of the damage we deal, but we're still like just so on edge. I mean, it's because we brought a level two, uh, a level two to level three mission. I think I think that's partially the reason, but still, I'm really enjoying it. And two mini bosses, two. Two mini bosses in one in one. Like, come on now. Really, you're gonna do that straight away? I just killed your brother. Oh, the dodge on the repost is super upsetting. Nice. I need to use this trap more often, it's kind of amazing. Also, one thing that's really crazy about it is um, it has this like ability to do such good damage and stuff, but it also, we have repost failure. Like, we, it could be so much better. Good. The blood quickens. Slime is fine by me. You're gone. You're gonna do scamper. Does that stealth you? It does not stealth you. Okay, that's fine then. That'll at least stun you out. Good, good, good. Blight kills you now as well. So our fight is done at least. It's annoying because we're one food off of a food check. If we had even one more food, we'd make it. But there you go. I knew it was gonna. Ha I knew it was gonna happen. In, turning the body against itself, weakening the mind. Thanks for that scout. Again. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Oh, amazing. Okay. Quickly check out what this is. Right, there you go. That was a very, very scary one. But we made ourselves a pretty penny there. 42,000 we made off of that. And we got 11,000 there as well. Although, does that include the same amount there? I don't think it does. Anyways, good stuff. And we got the Hellion Trinket as well. And we got some other good trinkets in there. So you got Scurvy? Okay. Wow. That was truly something. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Because, god damn. I am stressed out after that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, like, first of all, let's just quickly go boom, 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 and then want to equip our trinkets, do that. See what we got going on here. Nothing new there. We've got a shield maiden, but it's only level two. I don't think we need that. Uh, and then what we got trinket-wise, nothing insane. Okay, okay. That was stressful. Let's get into our last few diaries and we'll end off the episode. Wow. Okay, so next up is our second part of the Beast and Master. Oh, uh, a turn of indignation. Are we thinking now? What has that ever gotten you? Trouble? Nothing more. I've even gotten the ring wanting you back after your little temper tantrum even. Your thanks, of course. The hulk of a man steps forward again. I am not your dog. I am no one's dog. A smile returns to the noble's face as he holds his hand um, to the guards as the brute pulls back for a punch. The smile again melts, but this time into confusion as the brute exhales and lets his hand at his side. I am not stupid. 
Hitting you will hurt everyone here. You want it. I am not your beast anymore. That animal died as he leans close. Let it be dead. Go home. A scoff. Are you giving orders now? Me orders? I made you. I decide when you die. As he shoves past the brute, um, like a petulant child walking to the town gate, he turns to him before walking out of town. You have debts, beast. You owe, and you will pay up. Either it's blood or those that um, I decide. The noble takes a moment to compose himself. The sneering smile returns. You're just running around other yards. You know where home really is. As he walks out of town, he leaves Chaos standing in the streets, shuddering in pain, anger, and fear. Wow. That is crazy good. That's, oh my god. That's so, that's so good. I love the way that Chaos is going. Honestly, this, like, this series compared to the last one, I absolutely adored season one of this that I did a few years ago. Really loved it, but it got so complicated and convoluted that the stories never got this in depth. Even though we had some fantastic writers, we never got this level of depth in stories. And I feel like, for the most part, everyone's involved. Anyways, let's get into our last diary entry. It's a very short one. Uh, this is just the end of the Blank Gaming and Gaggle Guile one. I'll keep a quill and paper with me when I get uh, when I go then, Navar said with a slow nod. The conversation has been wonderful, and I've gotten a lot to think about now. Thank you, Rose. Amy. Be on the lookout for any specific, specific, suspicious activity, citizen, Rose said jokingly before waving, while Amy was trying to cool her tongue after burning it with tea again. Nice. Very, very nice. Really, really liked that. Really, really like that. But yeah, if we like go through our characters, Hestia's got some interesting stuff going on. Dismas has not much, but we're going to build on him. Delmar has some good stuff. Orwell has some good stuff. Nyx has some good stuff. Celia's gotten a little bit. Um, Beatrice hasn't had much, but Anton's had some good stuff. Renault could do with some stuff. Little One's had some stuff. Lucio, Uriel, Artemis, Guardian of Never, Bagman, Thanatos, Eileen, Navar, Chaos, Pandas, Helen, Awale, Renetta. All, all of these, pretty much every single one of these. I would say the only characters that are really lacking in terms of story would be Dismas, Gorzon, um, Anya, Beatrice and Renault. I think everyone else has got some really good stuff going on. Um, so they're the only ones I'd really say we need to focus on. But goddamn, you guys are just masterful writers. And that was uh, probably one of the most fun episodes we've had so far. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.